Hello and welcome to this lecture of Company Law. In this lecture, we are going to go through the issue of bonus shares, issue of bonus shares, and it is covered under section 63. In the last lecture, we had covered till section 62, which was further issue of capital. Now we move to the next topic, which is issue of bonus shares. Such bonus shares will be received in a proportionate basis. That means the company may declare bonus shares at 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 2. Like you can see in this particular example. What does this mean is that the Mr. A will receive, Mr. A will receive one extra share for two shares held by such shareholder. If it is 1 is to 2, it is one extra share for two shares. If it is 1 is to 3, it is one extra share for three shares. That is how a proportion is fixed by the board of directors and declared by the company. Let us get into the provisions of issue of bonus shares under the Companies Act. As I told you, bonus shares is issued proportionately. Bonus shares is issued proportionately. Proportionately means in an ratio to the holding of the shareholder currently that is on the date when it is actually going to be recorded okay and it is always and always given only to the current shareholders only to the existing shareholders that means the company when they declare bonus shares they would declare that the names of the members or shareholders who appear on the register of members on a particular date this date is known as record date so on the record date the names of the shareholders which are appearing in the register of members will be eligible to get bonus shares. So the company issues bonus shares in proportionate basis to existing shareholders as fully paid up shares, as fully paid up shares. That means the shareholder does not have to pay any single rupee against the share that is allotted to him as bonus shares. That means the shares which have been allotted as bonus shares are free of cost to the shareholder which is proportionate to his holding. I hope this part, this part is clear. So it is free of cost. So bonus shares is issued proportionately to current shareholders or existing shareholders as fully paid up shares free of cost. This concept is clear. Now this bonus shares may be issued. See for the company at the end of the day it is a cost which is there. Company is giving it free of cost. That means company will not get anything in consideration. There are three main sources through which bonus shares can be issued. The first one being free reserves of the company. Free reserves of the company. The second one being security premium. If you would remember section 52, section 52 had clearly, clearly uh, specified that utilization of securities premium account can be made for issue of bonus shares by the company. As well as the company can use CRR account. Company can use CRR account. We'll go through this particular topic of CRR account in further lectures when we go through buyback and debentures. Okay, so I hope this much is clear to you. There are three sources through which a company can issue bonus shares. First is free reserves, second is security premium, and third is CRR account. CRR account. And the important point to note over here is the company cannot use revaluation reserves. Company cannot use any revaluation reserves. Okay, so this is clear. These are the three things that the company can use. Now, what are the conditions for the company to issue bonus shares? Now, the conditions basically are the first one being the common condition in most of the concepts is authorized by articles of association, authorized by articles of association. So I have this point is clear. Second point is the bonus shares as are in the case of dividend, which we will be covering in section 123 soon, are recommended by the board, are recommended by the board to the shareholders in the general meeting. So, and recommendation is done by the board 
in the general meeting and it has to be authorized authorized means a resolution has to be passed in the general meeting by whom by shareholders of the company okay general meetings we have already covered under section 96 i already have an video which is uploaded on the same please go ahead and refer to this that video for all the topics of meetings okay now third point third condition is that the company should have not defaulted company should have not defaulted not defaulted in payment of interest or principal in respect of any fixed deposits in respect of any fixed deposits or debt securities which the company has issued to the public so company was supposed to pay the public through which some public deposits fixed deposits or debt securities have been issued and the company has borrowed money from such persons and on the date of maturity company should not have defaulted in payment of interest or principal this point should also be clear to you now the next point is company should have not defaulted company should have not defaulted in payment of statutory dues what do you mean by statutory dues statutory dues are such dues which are payable by the company as per some act or statute for example payment of wages act payment of bonus act pay, employee provident fund act esic act these are all labor laws which have been created by the legislature or parliament through which the company is mandatorily required to pay dues to the employees and if the company defaults in making such payment for example contribution to the provident fund contribution to the gratuity to the gratuity or contribution to esic wherever applicable such defaults if the company is making then the company cannot issue bonus shares so this point is also clear so we have covered four points till now the fifth point is as i told you earlier that the company will be issuing company will be issuing bonus shares which are only which type of shares fully paid up shares and hence any shares which the company has which are issued till date and are partly paid up shall be fully paid up before the bonus issue is covered by the or given by the company okay so partly paid up shares are made fully paid up by the company it has to be all shares have to be fully paid up finally the company will have to comply with any such conditions as may be prescribed under any rules which are not under the scope of this particular exam so there are some important points that we need to note over here apart from whatever we have discussed regarding bonus shares it is bonus shares shall not be issued in lieu of dividend that is if a company uh, say declares dividend of 5% to its shareholders and when the company has to provide or has to actually remit the dividend that is the due date of the dividend the company is not able to pay dividend then the company cannot convert such dividend which is declared into bonus shares so bonus shares cannot be issued in lieu of dividend a very very important point that you have to understand and you have to remember and the last point to be remembered is company which has announced company which has, which has announced the decision of board recommending bonus issue to the public then such an decision cannot be withdrawn by the company it cannot be withdrawn by the company company has to issue bonus shares once it is declared once declared once it is declared cannot be cannot be withdrawn i hope this much is clear this is given in rule 14 of the company share capital and debenture rules 2000 2014 okay so that's it for bonus shares if you have any doubts please do write in the comment section if you have understood this video please do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and do share this lecture with your friends and groups that's it from me stay safe stay healthy thanks a lot